Hi guys, it's Wayward Stitcher and welcome to 2018. I'm having a hard time keeping it together because this is attempt number three. Ugh, the joy, the, and then, and then you wonder why you don't see me for six months because I can't deal with these shenanigans. Oh gosh. I filmed on my iPhone. The first time I had to quit because my anxiety made me sick. And then the second time I tried filming, it cut me off because I don't have enough room on my phone. So now I'm filming on my iPad, which I really didn't want to do because my iPad has all my pattern stuff on it and, uh, yeah, whatever. <sighs> we're just gonna, we're, we're here now and we're dealing, we're dealing. Um, so hi, how's everybody been? It's been, I'd probably say like six months uh, since I saw you guys last and a lot's gone down. Um, as you know, we lost a couple of uh, friends uh, to cancer and um, my uncle passed away. And I am sorry if I sound exhausted. I've just explained all of this stuff like four different times now. <sighs> anyway, um, so... There's been a lot of deaths and just a lot of crazy things going on that had my stitchy bug like fly away and then I just really didn't feel like filming. I didn't want to be on camera. Um, and then I just, yeah. Um, so, um, I'm at a point right now where I'm like, where do I start? Like, do I start the same place I started last time or do I move on? <laughs> oh, um, some good things that happened recently that is, um, going to help explain my choices that I've made for 2018. Um, I made the big financial decision to buy a new car. Um, and when I say new, I mean like drive it off the lot new. Um, it's a 2018 Chevy Cruze. So just an update from an upgrade, should I say, from my last car here's the story about my car if you hadn't already seen it on instagram and stitch mania i haven't had the car for like two months i've barely had the car for two months and i have a gigantic hole in my bumper as you can understand my frustration and anger with that um if you didn't see the video or whatever on instagram or stitch mania at first, I thought somebody drove into my car. I thought somebody backed into my front bumper. That I found out on New Year's Eve. I was like, wow, this is really the way 2017 is going out. Really, like, pardon my language, but fuck you, 2017. <laughs> like, fuck you. Oh, I just, like, seriously. Um, don't worry. I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video just for anybody who's got little kids that like to listen. Uh, I just, like, I was so mad. And just, like, I have to, I had to start 2018 off dealing with insurance companies, um, you know, collision centers, uh, just, uh, everything's sorted out now. Um, I've got a rental car waiting for me. I've got to, I'm still waiting on the collision center to book me an appointment, um, uh, which should have been done, like, yesterday but or monday but it wasn't it's wednesday today it's the 10th of january so yeah i've been dealing with this for 10 days already um because i phoned the insurance company on the second which is not new year's day obviously but the day after and i've been dealing with this whole shenanigans for like a week so i mean i'm 2018 could have started off better but what do you do um so yeah, I found out now I have to fork out $300 deductible for my car. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's going to help. So with that being said, and um, that I was already planning on doing Stitch from Stash prior to 2018, but I'm really thinking it now because the money that I'm forking out for my car alone is just like insane. And even though minimum wage here went up in Canada, just like on New Year's, I, I don't think a whole extra dollar or whatever is really going to make or break my bank. Ugh. Anyway. So, 
Right now my focus is on um, getting the car fixed, paying for my car so I can still drive it, and paying off my debt. So um, no more stitchy stuff for me this year. I'm going to even really, really try very hard. This is because I have a very, um, I have a higher addiction to playing video games than I do cross stitching. So it's going to be very hard for me not to fork out money for video games, which I already caved today. I caved today. And I bought uh, Batman, the Telltale series. Yeah, I no self, self-control at all. So, yeah, um, I'm in the middle of playing the first Batman. I'm playing uh, Batman uh, Telltale series for my Switch, uh, which was a purchase that I made before Christmas. Um, it was a purchase I made when I couldn't afford it, but... I told you, my addiction to video games is stronger than my addiction for cross-stitch. I know you people understand. It's just a different obsession. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a hard time. Um, and for any of you that are gamers out there, um, the games I'm looking forward to the most this year that I think are getting released this year is the Final Fantasy VII Remake and Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, I'll be wasting my holidays playing those whenever I can get them. So... Anyways, moving on. I'll try to leave the geeky stuff out of it. <laughs> Alright, so now we can get on to um, the stuff you actually came to see. Not my nerdy video games and stuff like that. Um, I have to go to the bottom of the pile again because I went through this already like three times and had to put it away and pull it out, put it away, pull it out. I have a finish. My last finish for 2017 was Gigi by Nora Corbett and uh, she was a sal I did with Calico and my friend Diane from Facebook and um, Diane's also on Instagram but um, anyway uh, the three of us each did a Bewitching Pixie um, I think Diane did Ava Calico did Electra and I did Gigi so without further ado here is Gigi mm-hmm She's gorgeous. You can tell she was in a cute snap, hey? <laughs> She's so square. I haven't ironed her yet. Um, I'm so lazy. Once I get done a project, I'm like, just put it away. I'm done with looking at it for right now. Uh, but um, yeah, she still needs an ironing. And um, I made a couple of changes with her. Um, these beads here, these gold beads, I swapped them out for the big uh, bulky beads that were supposed to go there because those big bulky beads were too big for this fabric. Um, and then the other ma uh, change I made was in her skin. Well, not her skin, but the back stitching for her skin, pardon me. Um, the back stitching in her skin was supposed to be gray, but I couldn't do that because of the fact that, um, the fabric's gray and it just, like, kind of, it just disappeared. So I just swapped it out, made the best substitution that I could, and I think it turned out pretty great. I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah. So she stitched on 18 count hand dyed fabric by Mo Sale, which is a which was a gift from my friend Diane, specifically for me to stitch Gigi on. So thank you, Diane, if you're watching. You know I love you. Um, so that's the only finish I have to show you, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, 2017 was a train wreck. Can we all agree that 2017 was a train wreck? Not just maybe personally for me, but just like for the planet, for like the world. 2017 was a friggin' train wreck. Mm. And I'm not sure 2018 is going to be any better. Mm. Like right now, I live in Ontario, Canada. And right now, they're calling for like a monster storm for the weekend. Ugh. And they're like, it's going to be the worst storm of the season. And I'm like, oh god. Well... Oh well, if I get holed up for the weekend at home, I have lots of cross-stitching to keep me busy, so that's fine by me. But yeah, just, like, the, the weather in 2017 was just... For any of you floss tubers out there that had to deal with the hurricanes, the fires, what have you, I hope that um, your situations turned out okay, and that you know you didn't lose anybody you loved or no one was hurt like you know I just really hope that you were all safe um, you know material things are material things 
um, but you can't replace human life. So um, I just hope that all of you and your families were safe in those um, situations. So um, moving on, uh, let's start with my newest uh, new start. And I'll have to show you guys what I'm working on through my cell phone now because, and you'll have to bear with me, it's going to take me a minute to find this stuff. Um, just because. Uh, okay. Uh, perfect. Pardon me while I randomly check Facebook. Who in the heck are these? Okay, random, uh, don't you hate that? When you get people that friend request you and you're like, who are you? Where do I know you from? Like, if you're trying to add me as a friend from Sishmania, just an FYI, maybe try sending me a personal message first to see if you can add me as a friend, because otherwise I'm not going to add you as a friend, because I'm not going to know you come from Sishmania, if that's even possible. Because otherwise I won't add you. I don't like adding people that I don't know. Um, for obvious reasons. Oh, it's just like it's just like the process of Stitch Mania. Even being um, accepting of members, right? You have to like prove to them that you do cross-stitching before you can get added to the group. Which is like a really good rule. I'm glad Katie and Garrett did that. Um, uh, for a minute I sidetracked and I didn't remember what I was doing. All right. So my first um, first project that I started this year, which I started on New Year's because I always do a new project on New Year's. Um, what in the world? What in the heck? Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, because... And I was going to start a Nora Corbett like I had the last two years, but my fabric wasn't in yet, so I, I couldn't start it. So I started something else. Um, now this is the project that I'm starting um, for a friend, and it's progress that I'm not making on Instagram because the friend that this present is for follows me on Instagram, and I'm not going to risk blowing the surprise by posting progress pictures on Instagram. It is in Stitch Mania though, so you guys can see it there if you want um, to follow me on more regular updates. But I am stitching Deadpool, and I got the pattern from Cross Stitch for You uh, on Etsy. And this is where I'm currently at with Deadpool. So I just finished his eye yesterday, and I'm going to work on some of this today. Um, finish off these half stitches and make them full stitches and then I'm not sure what else I'm going to do today. My, I have a plan to start something new today which you guys will see in a bit um, but I'm just not sure yet. Grime Guard from Maggie's Minders on Etsy. The Needle Minder is from a shop that's no longer open and that was um, Minding My Minders and um, brand new Q-Snap. Uh, Q-Snap brand Q-Snap and it does not move. I cannot move this clamp even if I tried. So I'm um, very happy I made this. This is one of my haul purchases um, which I can't show you at the end because you know it's on my project so but just um, a note for any of you that are thinking of buying Q-Snap brand Q-Snaps and are hesitant to do so don't be hesitant. Um, I was at first because they're kind of expensive uh, so I was buying the off-brand ones for a while until I bought a brand new Q-Snap with my last order um, of stuff that I got and tried it out. I'm never going back to using the off-brand ones. I mean, I might if I like want to have two projects on the go or whatever, but ultimately I would rather have this. I'd rather have this over the generic brand, you know, buy it at Hobby Lobby stuff. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, whichever. Um, this, like I said, I cannot twist these. Like, I could reef on them, and they're not moving. So that, and I mean, that, like, I I could bounce a quarter off of here, and it'd, it'd be fine. So, the tension is really good. 
Um, I'm excited to see how it holds up with uh, linen and stuff. But Deadpool's just being stitched on a uh, 14 count white Ada. Like a Charles Craft Ada or whatever. Already got a stain on it. I'm not sure how that happened, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Where are going to put him now? Hmm. Running out of space here. All right. Let's head off to the next um, next little whip. Now, I apologize to you guys if this is a new start or if it's a whip, if you guys have already seen it or not. I did not go back on my previous video to see what's new and what's not new. So, without further ado, here's Piplup. And he's my little Pokemon that I started. He's being done on 14 count plastic canvas. And this pattern that I... I think I got him off of a um off of birdie stitching she has a blog on I can't remember um but yeah just google birdie stitching and you'll find it um but yeah it's a little little piplup it's a pokemon obviously um so for those of you that are familiar with pokemon will know who he is he's just a little penguin he's cute so I'm hoping to finish him in the next couple days We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll be my first 2018 finish. All right, let's head off to the whip pile. Um, I'll go with my next um, thing that I need to show you guys via cell phone because my iPad's in use is my Heaven on Earth. Okay, and this, and it is, whoops, okay, let's get this fixed up here. Oh, could we not do that, really? My phone's not gonna... Why? Does, why? If someone knows how to get rid of this, please let me know. When I tilt my phone sideways, I get this weird half bar thing. Does anybody know how to get rid of that? Anyway. This is going to be the best I can do. My uh, mini dragon's lair. Sorry for the glare and all that. It's the best I can do right now. But I've got a huge chunk of him done. And I mean huge chunk. Um last time you guys saw him oh let's fold him in half I only had a little bit of this up top done and now I have oh let me tell you I do love this project a lot it's been a while since I stitched on it um but he is what I'm stitching on when I use easy PDF reader and I absolutely love it so um yeah, and this is being stitched on 28 count Lugana, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 28 count, one over one. So, I can't wait to get him finished. I'm really hoping that in the next little while I can finish, um, finish this page. And then that will be my second page finish. And as you can tell, I've got a, quite a big chunk of this page done too. I've been working just wherever I feel like working um, on him. So... I really want to get him done. And if you guys remember, he has a nickname. It's Lucifer. <laughs> because of my obsession with Supernatural and the fact that he's red and looks like he came out of the bowels of hell. So, that is... Um, apparently I need to cut this off. Okay. Sorry if you guys heard that. It's like some guy outside my window coughing. Like, okay. So, Lucifer. Doing good. Really hoping to get more work done on him this year. Just, like, he's going to be one of my Stitch from Stash projects. I know eventually I'm going to have to buy some floss for him because I'm running low as it is. Uh, one of the colors I need for the dragon is also used in Deadpool. So, I'm kind of in a situation where I'm going to need to make a trip to Michael's probably. Right, um, and I think I showed this, I think I showed you guys this other haid that I started, also on 28 count. Um, 
It's just a little tiny start and see. And this was Eclipse by Bench Slick, I think. So, and she's just a fairy. Um, let me see if I can find that. She, so that's a mini as well, by the way. Um, pretty sure. It is a bench like, but I'm pretty sure for whatever reason it's not showing up under his artwork. Huh. It's a bench like I know that. And I'm pretty sure it's called Eclipse. I just searched Eclipse on Google and it's not showing up. Well Okay. Well that Okay. Random nudity. Alright, well, I'll post a thing in the box below um, so you guys know. It was just in my box of things to show you guys. I'm not sure why. But modest start on that. And my friend, this just around Christmas, my best friend slash sister. I call her my sister because we're pretty much like sisters. Um, she just lost her mother over Christmas, and I'm hoping to stitch that for her. Um, probably not in the near future, but um, eventually. I think this is a new start. You guys haven't seen this one yet. I'm all sorts of messed up today. I, like I said, I'm sorry. I've just done this video like three times now. Okay, so um, this is coming out of Cross Stitch Crazy issue... 219 which is 2000, 2016 September and I'm doing um, one of the um, wise words quotes by uh, Emma Congdon and I'm doing the um, Lord of the Rings one not all who wander are lost and I just have a tiny 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 start on that um, and it's still in the hoop it's been in the hoop for like a long time I might need to be concerned about that <laughs> guys there's white on white you believe it this is all I've got done this tiny little bit these white stitches and a little bit of pink and I'm not really sure which way is up or which way is down I think it goes this way I have no idea but little start on that um so that is my Emma Congdon piece I like Emma Congdon she's a, a good designer <laughs> Alright, next whip. Uh, I think that's it for new starts, though. So, it's just down to whips and then stash and plans. So, the next whip I have for you guys is my gold collections from Dimensions, my Fall Fairy. Who I put a considerable amount of work into, um... When I had her out. And she's one of the projects that was not subject to the frog. Uh, we did not have a visit from that slimy thing. And that's where I'm at so far. Um, if you can tell from last time. I just put in this whole side of the tree. Um, so. Happy with the progress I made on her. Dimensions kits are slowly becoming something that I no longer enjoy working on. Um. Sure, the images are beautiful, but, uh, but um, I don't know. Now that I've strayed away from doing projects that have, you know, three, four, five, six strands of floss being used with mixed threads. and It's just, like, I'm sorry, but it is extremely hard to thread a needle with six strands of floss or four strands of floss and to get them to all lay nice and flat. I, like, I can't. Like, I can't. That is a struggle for me. A struggle. And the next whip that I have is my Blue Geisha by Joan Elliott. That's very... She's so pretty. 
she was one of the projects that was subject to the froggy. He hopped along and wrecked my day. Hmm. All right, so where I am with her, she has a face. Look at that face. I really, like I apologize in all my other videos about the lighting situation. Like I can't help it. But I backstitched her face and put the flowers in her hair. I had to rip her entire hair out, like the whole thing. Um, what I did was she was being stitched. This is on 14 count Ada and she's being stitched two over one. But the hair and the hair coverage was awful. And I was stitching that two strands like I would, except it was just awful. There was way too much white showing through there. So I swapped it out and like I pulled it all out and started stitching three over one. And the coverage is like a thousand times better. So I'm really happy with that. And her face looks really good. Where are we? Yep. So. I really like her. I'm really hoping to finish her this year, but like, I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm not going to promise you guys that she'll be done this year, but I'm going to try. I really like her and I plan on taking holidays this year to really just focus on my cross stitching. All right. And the next one, another project you guys haven't seen for a while, but was subject to the frog. And still needs to be fixed, by the way. I haven't had um, time to fix the mistake that was in it. But it is Garden Gate by Dimensions. Whoops. A lot of people are stitching this right now, I feel like. I'm going to try to make this quick because I don't know how much space I have on my iPad. Oh, and that is where we are. And so that's quite a bit of progress since the last time you guys saw it. But this, <laughs> this hole from here over all has to come out because I boo-booed. It's off by like one thread or one space. So whenever I feel like not dealing, whenever I'm in a good mood and don't feel like dealing with mistakes, then I'll fix that. But um, yeah. So that's Garden Gate. All right. And then um, the next one, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this or not, or if it's a new start, um, but um, Trick or Treat by Lana Lawson Needle Arts. I don't know when I started him. Oh God, of course I would drop floss all over my desk. Cause why not? Jesus. All right. Not much started on him, uh, but he's being stitched on, I think 28 count, two over one with DMC floss. Let me just move my needle minder here. Um, I think this is 28 count, I could be wrong. But that's where I'm at with him. So we made progress with that other. And this is my Zach Fair needle minder from um, Minding My Minders. That shop does no longer in business. I really liked working on him. Um, so I'm hoping to get him done sometime this year. Maybe by Halloween. Who knows? I'm not making promises. Like I said, there's way too much stuff to do. See what I mean when I say I have enough to carry me for the rest of the year? I don't think I need to buy anything else. Those projects alone sh should carry me. Oh, I didn't put the pattern back in there. Well, that was silly. Every time I buy these zippy bags, the thing on the top breaks on me. But, uh... By the way... I found out something new today. I was photocopying some patterns for future products. Well, I went to go get some stuff uh, photocopied. Now we have these this office supply store called Holsts, which I guess would kind of be like staples, but on a smaller scale. I took um, some cross stitch patterns there to get them photocopied to make working copies, right? 
because, you know, um, sometimes charts are like ginormous and there's no way you're going to properly work with a ginormous chart. And I don't really like to highlight my charts. I like to highlight like working copies. So I take my stuff in and she's like, oh, she's like, well, I can't do that for you. And I was like, what? I was like, I can't. She's like, because they're like cross stitch patterns and that I can't photocopy them for you, but you can photocopy them. I was like, I mean, I guess I can understand, but she just kept stressing to me the fact that she likes her job and she would like to continue working. I was like, oh, okay. So that's how strict these laws are getting. Um, I used to be able to take my cross stitch patterns to holsts, no problem, get them photocopied and there wasn't any issue. Now, I don't know if this is a new law in 2018 or whatever, but they are not allowed to photocopy anything that might be... Like, that's crazy pants. So good luck to you guys that like to take your heaven and earth designs out and get them bound and photocopied and all that. You might run across a snag, just a, snor uh, uh, just a forewarning, because I ran into that snag already. Um, so, and I can understand where they're coming from because even though you're making a working copy for yourself, they don't know that, right? Like, they don't know that you don't have the intention to take those photocopies and go sell them on the street, right? So... It's understandable, but yeah, my photocopies are my photocopies. They're my working copies. And when I'm done with them, I shred them and they go in the, in the recycle. So I don't, I never ever give away my patterns. Like I give away my full patterns, but I don't like, yeah. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting and figured that you guys should um, know about that because it's kind of crazy. All right, so Last but not least, we have some haul, and then I'll talk to you guys about my, more or less, my 2018 plans. There's a lot of haul I told you guys. Oh, for gosh sakes. Pardon the bending over. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Whew. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay. So, um, half an hour of rambling. Um, and then I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things that I got for my birthday, which I'm really excited about. Um, so, first off, um, I made a needle minder purchase from Nifty Needle Nannies. A while back, they, um, had, is Julie, said that she was going to order some special supernatural um, characters and that they were available for pre-order so I put my order in right away because you guys know me in Supernatural right like I had to have them my favorite characters are Sam and Castiel so I got a Sam and a Castiel and they're so cute oh my gosh they're so cute so I'm excited to have those that's one of the first things I did and you guys are gonna have to excuse me for a minute my lips are chapping like there's no tomorrow Okay, so needle minders. I was super excited about needle minders. Um, and a while back, before Christmas, I did purchase a Just Cross Stitch 2017 ornament issue. I've never purchased an ornament issue before, but I looked through it and thought there was a couple in here that I would like. I think there's some, like, I think there's a Frosted Pumpkin in here and stuff like that. So, um, and I know there's a Lizzie Kate. So I'm sure this has been flipped through like a thousand times already. So I, I won't go through that. But if for any reason you guys want to see it, you know the deal. Just let me know. Um, and then that brings me to um, this little kit that I purchased a while back. I made a trip to Michael's and and, and bought just something small, goldfinches and lilacs. I thought it'd just be one of those cute kits to start whenever I felt in the need to start something and didn't want to start something ginormous like 90% of my projects are and I also picked up some DMC beading needles I don't know if they're any good or if anybody can recommend in the comments below or tell me anything about them they're really long I didn't really realize they're that long like holy smokes they are long so um yeah I don't know 
So I got a package of those. And I was going to buy more needles today at Walmart, but they didn't have the size I wanted, so boo on them. <laughs> um, and then I bought um, some 14 count glue Ada, which I kind of have a project in mind for, if it'll fit on here, but I don't know. I bought another roll of 14 count white. Oops. And then the rest of this stuff is like special stuff. Um, so let's get started with that. Um, I made a purchase a while back for some projects that I plan on starting in uh, um, this year. First of all, this this pattern came in with all the stuff that I bought for, for this year, but I'm not going to stitch it this year, I don't think. And um, it's a Joan Elliott and it's called Winter's Magic. Isn't it pretty? I'm obsessed with reindeer guys that's why I bought this I have a reindeer ornament hanging in my car and when I saw this I had no idea Joan did this I've never seen it before so when I saw it I was like oh my goodness I have to have that so yeah that's it's really cute and I like the little what do you call these are they cherubs do you are they called cherubs the little fairy baby things they're like like um like Cupid, right? Cupid's like a cherub, right? Isn't that what they're called? Anyway, that was cute. That'll be a quick stitch. There's not too much involved in that. But it was, that was one of the patterns that I ordered. And then the rest of this stuff is planned for 2000 and, um, 2018, this year. Um, and then I bought this project for my dad. It's going to be a gift for my dad. Um, I don't know when. And it's another Joan Elliott, White Tigers. I had no idea she did this either, so that was a surprise to me. Um, my dad is a lover of tigers, uh, so I stitched him a tiger a while back. It was like a, a cozy cub or something by Dimensions. It was a little gold collections petite. I stitched that for him and had it framed, and he keeps it where he stays with his mom. So he wakes up to it every morning. He says he loves it. So I'm going to stitch this one for him. Next up is the good stuff, guys. The stuff that I'm super, super, super excited for and the stuff that I kitted up for this year for me to start. There is a snag that I hit, um, and some of you on Instagram and Stitch Mania already might know about this snag, but I'll ask for opinions here as well just because I'm terrified and I'm scared and I don't want to start this project without... I don't, want, I don't want to get too far in and then go, oh, this isn't going to work. Um, but first off, I'll show you guys... Um, the first project that I have planned to start this year, and that is Enchanted Aurora by Joan Elliott. See, I told you, Joan Elliott is like my favorite designer, and can you see why? That is flippin' gorgeous. You can't go wrong with those, like, foxes. I think they're foxes, or are they wolves? I don't know. They're cute. And the fabric that I picked out for that, I will show you. Now... People were telling me when I asked for suggestions ages ago, um, people were saying to me that this fabric probably wasn't going to work, um, that it would probably blend in too much, but I think that they might be wrong. And I think it might just be the fabric that I need. Um, all these fabrics that you guys are going to see from now on are from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, this is Discord 32 Count Lugana. Like, yeah, hello, oh my gosh, when I opened this, I just about flipped, oh my god, I flipped, I flipped, I flipped, I flipped, so I think she's going to look perfect on here, and I, like, I, I haven't, like, laid any, um, fabric, or I haven't laid any floss against it yet, but I think we will be good to go, um, and I'm going to start her today, I think. When I'm on video call with my friend Diane, I think I'm going to start her. Um, my goal is to start her this way on the fabric so that her body and everything is on this side. And then, you know, or I might flip it the other way. I might make it so that the owl's on this side. And I, I'm just not sure, but that is my plan. I'm going to start her today and she's going on this fabric. I don't care what everybody says. <laughs> In the end, it's my project, it's my decision to make, right? 
everybody's opinion is of course greatly appreciated um, but I think I'm gonna go through the um, I think I've made my decision seeing the fabric and seeing her I think that she will look gorgeous on there so and I mean I've seen it where people think that they order uh, fabric or they they say I'm gonna stitch this on this and you think are you are you serious like that's not gonna look good on there at all those, those colors are you gonna lose those colors in there and then it turns out and it's amazing like amazing um, I've seen Katie the stash queen there's sometimes there's projects to see she stitches and you think there's no way those stitches are gonna show up on there that fabric is too light or it's too whichever but it shows up and it looks awesome so like I think we're a little hard on ourselves when we purchase fabric and we look at fabric and versus the project and we're thinking oh gosh yeah that's not gonna look but until you stitch it you really don't know right so I mean if in the end some things get lost in it it's not like the end of the world there's back stitching and there's stuff like that that will help separate the stitching from the fabric so I'm not worried about it I think it'll look great I'm really excited to start that project now the next project uh, is a problem. This one I'm more concerned about than anything else. I went ahead and purchased C. Flora from Nora Corbett. She is beautiful. And the fabric that I chose for her was a 32 count linen, an opalescent linen in Ocean's Tide. And I'll show you guys the dilemma I have with that. Some people have already seen on Instagram my dilemma with that but there's the color I don't know if you can see some sparkle in there or not yep you can see a little okay but I'll show you the problem now this might not be a problem and it might be a problem I'm not sure yet I have yet to really I'll let you guys in the video let me know what you think but my concern is this floss with this oops this floss with this uh, fabric oh geez Louise let me so that you guys can see like okay that green looks like it's gonna be to get lost too much in the fabric I don't know for sure it might be okay um, that green color there is used in the darkest parts of you see those really dark spots on that ribbon there that's where it's used so it's not like the project has a whole lot of it in it but there is the potential there for some of it to get lost so let me know in the comments below what you think I will not start her until I have more opinions because um, if it comes down to it I'll just start a whole another I'll just order another piece of fabric someday and I'll start her some other time but this was the this was the fabric I had in mind for her, um, and I just don't know if it's gonna work. I thought she would look gorgeous on there. I just am worried about the dark green. So let me know what you think. Um, and last but not least, I've got. Um, I plan on starting this year as well another Joan Elliott surprise surprise and this is dancing mermaid she's very popular she's pretty now I picked a, a way better fabric for her believe me I think the fabric that I chose for her uh, was a wise choice I can't get over how soft this fabric is it just blows my mind um, this is a 28 count Jobelin in frozen fractals so yeah don't tell me that that's not gonna look nice on there hello I think that's perfect it kind of looks like there's like little blues and like sea foam per like greens like teals and greens and stuff I think it would look very much like ocean water even though it's supposed to look like ice I guess or whichever but frozen fractals like how could you not order something that's like based off of frozen that is definitely a frozen themed Piece of fabric and I am obsessed with Frozen I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with it but it's like one of my favorite Disney movies ever and that probably is not a surprise but like I'm really excited about the second Frozen and Olaf's adventure oh my gosh Olaf's Frozen adventure oh my goodness please 
please. All right, and then last but not least, I did buy some uh, metallics for those projects, and I think the um, I think this the petite treasure braid I think is for the mermaid. Nope, I think the petite treasure braid is for enchanting Aurora, enchanted Aurora. So this is PB fifty four. I got or a little roll of that, a card of that I guess, and I'm keeping my just or these um, in these little zippies for now but I have a plan once I start amassing a bigger collection of uh, petite treasure braid to get um, a card binder like you know for trading cards and slide them in there I've seen that done before so I think that's what I'm gonna do for right now they're staying in there and then for the mermaid now this I know is for the dancing mermaid I got some Kranich number four braid in 623 which is this beautiful like aquamarine blue like when I saw this I just about died I am a, I have like like Mikey and um um darling bluebell I have an obsession with the color blue so yeah when I saw that I just about died and then of course I went and ordered the beads for all three of these projects I ordered fabric beads the flosses metallics everything except for one skein of floss which I forgot to order for the um the mermaid which was the Krennic number no. four braid 027L so I'm short that so I'll have to mark that down for my shopping list but for these projects I got some antique glass beads in 03056 let me see if I can get a piece of paper and hold that up. <sighs> Lordy. Hopefully the pattern doesn't show through here. Eh. Hello? You need some paper? Hello? Any paper? I have paper. I'll just use my insurance papers. So those are some nice little red uh red beads i like an orangey red i think those are for um i think those are for my enchant that's for the um sea flora good lord have mercy i just can't win today give me a second i'm gonna find a better piece of paper to use Right. Yeah, it's better. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry if I bumped that. And then I have some glass seed beads in 00252. And those are the nice purple, which I think are for um, the other mermaid for Sea Flora. These are for Sea Flora as well, I think. I can't remember what these are all for, but I know I have them. Glass seed beads in 02077. And these are like a nice like magenta color. And for some reason I got two packs of 02008, which are these nice teal ones. I don't know why I did that. Um, these are for sure for Sea Flora, I'm pretty sure. Um, size 8 glass beads uh, in 188229. These look like an older. They're very light purple. Um, oh. And then I got some petite glass beads in 42040, which are like, again, like a purple color. They look more blue on screen, but they're purple. Purpley blue, I guess. Ooh, these ones are pretty. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, the way they put these all together. Um, some glass uh, seed beads in 02010. There's like a silver or white. They look more silver. But they're like a clear bead, maybe. 
And then I got some glass seed beads in 02031. It's like a lime green. Antique glass beads in uh, 03021, which is like a pearl white, like a matte white, maybe. But they almost look like pearls, so it's like a pearly white. And then these are like a pale lilac color. They're very nice. Antique glass beads in 03044. Like a very pale purple. Very nice. And then the last ones I got are petite glass beads in 4002. Ugh, this tape. 40020. God, the freaking tape is disgusting. And it's like a dark blue, I think. Or, yeah. Like a dark blue. So, lots of beads. Lots of things to organize. And I think that was all I had to show you guys that was stitchy related. So, like I said, the mermaids, the Joan Elliott's, they're, they're, um, they're all, um, kitted up, ready to go. Um, and then the other things I want to talk about are the two books that I got for my birthday that I'm really excited about. Um, the first one is the new Dan Brown book, Origins. If you guys have not read Dan Brown, I suggest that you read Dan Brown. He is amazing. Um, he's the one that wrote um, The Da Vinci Code, obviously. And I do believe that this is a an expansion on The Da Vinci Code, like Robert Langdon is in this book. Um, the book that comes out before this, which was The Lost Symbol, I think, also has Robert Langdon in it. Um, I, I love Robert Langdon as a character, so um, reading this, I can't wait to get into this this year and read that. Um, this was a birthday gift to me, from me, because um, I love Dan Brown, and I mean, I really do want to try to get reading a little more, and this was a good incentive to read a little more. And then from my best friend slash sister, um, she gave me a gift card for like Kohl's and Chapters and indigo like all those types of places which um i spent on a book that i really really wanted um and that is family don't end with blood as it says uh cast and fans on how supernatural has changed lives like you guys already know supernatural has changed my life in a lot of ways um not just supernatural but jared padalecki mostly um and I have not read this yet, um, but I'm extremely excited. And the thing that I love the most about this book um, is the uh, full-scale colored images that are in the front, or in the middle. They're in the middle of the book. So, Jared Padalecki and... <laughs> My brain is, uh, is fried. Um, Brianna Buckmaster. Um, she plays Officer, oh, that really funny blonde officer. I can't remember her name. Anyway, yeah, I just, like, I'm really excited to get into this book. Supernatural is, like, I don't know, it's been, like, a godsend to me, honestly, the whole thing. The fandom, the, the, the show, the fans, the, like, it's unbelievable. Um, so... Um, I thought my thing were stop recording on me there for a second. Um, so if you're a Supernatural fan and you don't know about this book, buy it. Do it. Do it. Because I'm sure it's great. Um, there's stuff in here, um, from Jared Padalecki, Jensen Ackles, Misha Collins, Mark Shepard, Jim Beaver, Ruth Connell, Osric Chow, Rob Benedict, Kim Rhodes, Brianna Buckmaster, Matt Cohen, Gil McKinney, and Rachel Miner. Um, all actors from the show, um... Some who I've met personally, and, um, yeah, just, I think it's going to be great, and once I get reading it, I'll let you guys know how it's going, for sure, in my next update videos. Um, so I think that's it for me, and, um, I hope to see you guys again in February, and hopefully by then I'll have a couple new projects started. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!